In this video, we are talking the top five RV decor and organization mistakes that RVers make and how to avoid them. So I figured I'd make this video about the top five RV mistakes for decor and organization that I see happening and thought I could show you how to maybe avoid them. So whether you've been in RV in a while or you're new to RV and I feel like these tips could help you. So the first mistake I feel like people make, you bring way too many unnecessary items. A lot of people bring things along with them that they never even use. They think they're gonna use them, but they don't. And this just makes for a more cluttered space when you already have a small space and you're trying to bring extra things that really doesn't even matter. In an RV, every inch of space counts. Now, I can't really go through and tell you what items are unnecessary and what are necessary because what you do while you camp and what I do are two totally different things. But my rule of thumb is if I've gone camping two or three times and I have not touched that item, even thought about that item, I go ahead and just pull it out of the camper. In a camper, weight is very important and the more items that you have that you're not using just puts more weight in your RV. Another thing that can help you with overcrowding the RV is get items that are multifunctional. If you have five items, but you can take two items that do the exact same thing, this helps minimize and keep things from being overcrowded. Big thing to keep overcrowding in your RV is one, get rid of things you don't use, and two, make sure that you get items that can be multifunctional. Another mistake I see a lot of RVers making is they forget about the vertical space. Vertical space in an RV, you have to take advantage of it. And how you take advantage of this is using hooks and items to get stuff up on the walls to get them out of the floor and out of the walkways of your RV. It will help maximize and give you more storage in the RV. Another mistake that I see in RVs is poor lighting. A lot of the older campers don't have very many windows and there's not much natural light coming in and that makes your camper feel dark and claustrophobic. If you can add additional lighting by adding maybe some lamps or something like that, or task lighting, it will help the RV feel more inviting. Now, a lot of the new RVs have tons of big windows with lots of light that they let in, but if you have one of the older campers that doesn't have this, I'd say update your lighting in the RV because a lot of the old RV lighting was kind of dim anyway. And if you can update it to the new LED lights, it will make a big difference. My mistake number four is people neglect the bathroom. And I've done a lot of videos on organizing the bathroom and maximizing the space because this is the smallest space in the RV, but probably has one of the most things that you need to put in other than the kitchen. You have got all your makeup, you've got all your hair stuff, you've got all your deodorant, your toothpaste, you've got towels, you've got body wash, shampoo. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that you have to have in the bathroom. And if you don't organize that, it can become a complete chaotic mess real quick. In the bathroom, if you have a door that opens, you can utilize the back of the door. You can put up hooks and stuff in the bathroom to hold a lot of your towels and you can organize things in those cabinets with baskets and things. And you do not have to break the bank. I've done quite a few organization videos about getting it at Dollar Tree, so it doesn't even have to be expensive. I know number five is gonna kinda contradict number one just a little bit, not totally, but I feel like you need to personalize your RV to yourself. Just putting up a few pictures and things that make it remind you that it's your home and you're not like at some hotel. Put things that you love in your camper, but don't go like over crazy because I'm gonna fix and to start redoing a lot of this because I'm always doing decor videos for y'all and I just kept adding stuff and now the pictures and things for me have gotten out of control. 
but I want a few pictures because I want it to feel like a more homey feel. But at the same time, I don't need it overcrowded and exploded. So if that's a video that you're wanting to watch of me redoing a few things in the RV as far as decor and downsizing a lot of my decor, please subscribe so that you'll get notified when that video gets uploaded. Also, another video that we're going to be doing probably in the next few months is the new couch video. Bill's scared about getting this one out, so that might be a whole video of us taking out windows or I don't know what it's going to involve, but we've got to have a new couch. This one has had it. So I'm going to take you in the shopping process and the replacement process, and that should be in the next month or so. So that's it. That's my top five RV decor and organization mistakes and how to avoid them. By making a few simple changes, you can transform your RV into a much more functional space. Till next time, like and subscribe.